Okay, these are some of the tools for our our station. Okay. They do have to troubleshoot an air leak on the manual transmission. They have parts manuals, troubleshooting manual and service manual to help guide them through the steps. Now is this like a 10 speed, an 18 speed? This is a 13 speed transmission. 13 speed transmission. Walk me around. What can you do before we go? What what can you do as a judge and what can't you do as in terms of helping them with this competition? Basically we just explain the uh, fault. Okay. It's also explained to them on their test sheet of how it was written up by the driver's complaint. And basically all we can do is control the air going to the transmission so they can pinpoint the air leak problem. But you can't tell them parts numbers? You cannot tell them parts numbers. Uh, everything, their manuals are at their disposal here. So they have that to reference their information from. But they got to do it themselves they and use it? do it all themselves. And use it within the 45 minute and block they got? Within the 45 minute process. Okay, yes. okay. Show me where the, the, the cutoff is for the air and stuff and how you work that. Taking the air supply from the transmission, routed it through this check valve, and then it supplies transmission by rotating this handle, open and close position. And that way you don't have to turn the truck and on and off. You don't have to turn the cycle the truck on and off to help build air pressure back up on the truck. Okay, good deal. It'll make things a lot quieter. Pat Driscoll here for his fourth shot at a championship, working the Cummins problem. There are three distinct problems he has to solve. He's got to get the truck to start. And it's proving to be a big challenge. It's, this is one of the tougher ones on the floor today. Someone's managed to get a truck started at the end there. A lot of diagnosing effort is going into this one. So listen, on this 2010 Eno, we've got three problems that Tech has 45 minutes to work through. The first problem is going to walk him through an engine and electrical problem. Mm -hmm. It's going to require him to use the Hino Diagnostic Explorer. That's our software-based PC program. The second fault is going to involve an ABS problem, which doesn't necessarily need the use of the electronic software, more so his skills with electrical fundamentals along with ABS principles. The, the last problem is a failed engine sensor, which again, much like the first problem, we would use the Hilo Diagnostic Explorer, that's our lab-based software, incorporated with some electrical skill sets to um, find the problem on this vehicle. But Dan, he doesn't have to use all this stuff, but it's available to him. I mean, you've got tools, you've got the PC, you've got even uh, trouble manuals, right? That's correct. Um, all this hardware and software is not necessarily something he may or may not need. There is something he may or may not need. It's really his discretion, one to make him feel comfortable, like he had, a, like he would as if he were working in his own, out of his own toolbox in the shop. 